Both small and large buffer sizes have different effects on application flow types. Some sources claim that small buffer sizes optimize performance, while others claim that large buffer sizes are much better. Many of the web giants including Facebook, Amazon and Microsoft use small buffer switches, but it really depends on your own environment. Understanding your own application traffic pattern and testing for optimizations are essential for finding that sweet spot. Most out-of-the-box applications are not going to be fine-tuned for your specific environment, so you will need to do some lab testing. Complications arise when the congestion control behavior of TCP interacts with the network device buffer. The two have different purposes. TCP congestion control continuously monitors available network, network bandwidth by using packet drops as the metric. On the other hand, buffering is used to avoid packet loss. In a congestion scenario, the TCP is buffered, but the sender and receiver have no way of knowing that there is congestion and the TCP congestion behavior is never initiated. So the two mechanisms that are used to improve application performance don't actually complement each other. The first step is to find out your network threshold where packets get dropped. Tools such as TCP dump and TCP probe can be used to test and to understand the effects on TCP on your network. There is no point looking at vendor reports and concluding that their real-world testing will fit your own environment. These are only guides and this type of real-world traffic tests are very misleading. Usually no standard RFC is used for this vendor testing and they will always try to make their own product appear better by tailoring the tests such as the packet sizes to suit their own environment. There's, in the past there has been conflict in buffer testing between Arista and Nexus. The Nexus 5000 works when most ports are congestion at the same time, while the Arista 7100 per, uh, performs best when source ports are congested but not all of them at the same time. The fact is that these platforms have different buffer architectures regarding buffer sizes, buffer disciplines and buffer management that influences how you test.